if I could go from the present then back back to 1960 when we when we moved in into the home and uh, try to try to present to you the the atmosphere of a of a tiny rural historical village. Queenston at that time was a very quiet, uh, secluded village, uh, historically uh, oriented, but uh, uh, had been had had been left for years and years since the Welland Canal was uh, built. Uh, all of the all of the industry and all of the commerce within the village died. The vill village sat here vacant. So when we came in in 1960, the uh, uh, extension of Highway 8, uh, which is now called York Road, extended through the village down down to the river, and there was a suspension bridge to Lewiston. And, and my wife and I went over there frequently for meals and shopping. And there and there was a tiny a tiny customs building on our side that Mr. Shepherd was one of the customs. Uh, officials, and I believe there was one other young gentleman here that that worked with him. Uh, it was it was very interesting that they that they befriended a lot of raccoons. So whenever you came over the bridge, there was always a raccoon sitting there waiting wait, waiting to be fed. Uh, at the same time, uh, the Fisher Building still still remained, and that's rather interesting. It isn't there presently. Uh, it was a stone building date, dating from 1790 that had been a commercial building and a bank and a storage area, two-story building, uh, extending a full full block on Front Street fa fa facing the river and the dock area. Uh, it has a it had a large walk-in fire fireplace, a rather rather gracious building, but had been boarded up for uh, for years and years. Mr. Mr. Clifford has said that he that, that he attended a, a bank there uh, during the, during the 40s, so so it seemed to be used in some extent, maybe as a boarding house through the 40s, but was boarded up between that time and 1960. Dr. Afritka per purchased the home in 1970, brought in a brought in large bulldozer and pull, pulled the entire structure down. Uh, 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 within 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 three days' time, and that and that was lost. It was a very early 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 historic building. Um, some of the some of the characters uh, within within the village uh, uh, are. Are, are very interesting. Where the where the Rover uh, Car Repair Center is presently was the Merritt Garage, and uh, Frank Frank Merritt operated that. We had gas gas pumps there, and uh, and rather than having a hoistress in the building, there was a pit. The car drove over the pit. Uh, Mr. Mr. Merritt went downstairs and did his uh, 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 repair work from underneath. It's rather interesting that his uh, sister was a, was a rather strange creature. We used to see her walk, walking around the around the uh, village, leading a dog during the summer, wearing a fur coat and rubber boots. And uh, I can recall spe speaking to uh, 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 to Wayne Merritt, a friend of ours, the son of Frank, and also a house uh, painter. That, that at one time we had a very strange woman who used to walk around the village dressed rather oddly. And, uh, and Wayne started laughing, saying, well, that, that was my aunt. <laughs> uh, besides that, over in the, in the uh, house where the... Um, the Lowenbergers presently live, was was a house of uh, similar design, very early, probably 1790s, uh, where a where a family lived with seven seven or eight children, and the and the children wandered through the village in bare feet all summer long, and if there was a a tree bearing fruit, then watch out, they were over the fence and into the trees. They were they were very very poor. Uh, 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 the house was heated with the coal oil 
a stove of some sort, and uh, and once the doors were open, you you could smell coal oil fumes you for you for yards and yards away away from the home. Uh, the village, as, as I said, was very quiet because Elizabeth, I, uh, uh, after my uh, uh, my de my degree at Western, I went went to the University of Buffalo for a master's degree, uh, weekend summers and uh, and evenings, and and Elizabeth says that uh, that she could tell when I was coming home that my that my car was the only car that that came down the Queenston Hill and 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 she could see it from from our door and always knew that I was coming. We had dogs and she would say, John's coming. 